expectancy violation theory. What is it? One person who violates the expectation of another person, usually by invading their personal space, which is anything closer than 18 inches. So how does this theory work? It breaks down every interaction into two parts. The first part is the violation. Any time a person acts in a way that is unexpected, it's considered to be a violation. When this happens, the other person has to consider if it is a positive violation or a negative violation. Were they surprised in a good way? Were they surprised in a bad way? Usually, it's somewhere in between, mainly because the violation depends on who is doing it. This is a relational theory, which basically means that the end result depends on your relationship with the other person. The other person being the person who committed the violation, who acted in a way that was unexpected. To help apply this theory, we're going to look at a clip from my favorite movie, Almost Famous. But first, we're going to review how this theory works. First, we must look at the violation itself. Do we see it in an entirely positive light? Was it entirely negative? Or was it somewhere in the middle? If it was somewhere in the middle, we must next look at the person who committed the violation. How do we feel about them? Do we see them in a completely positive light? A negative light? To help us apply this theory, we're next going to watch a clip from Almost Famous in which Penny Lane, the infamous groupie, meets William, the young, struggling journalist. I'm with myself. No, who are you with? What band? Oh, uh, I'm here to interview Black Sabbath. I'm a journalist. I'm not, not a, you know. You're not a what? You're not a what? Not a... Groupie. Oh. Groupie? We are not groupies. This is Penny Lane, man. Show some respect. Groupies sleep with rock stars because they want to be near someone famous. We're here because of the music. We are Band-Aids. She used to run a school for Band-Aids. We don't have intercourse with these guys. We support the music. We inspire the music. We're here because of the music. Mark Boland broke her heart, man. It's famous. In this example, the violation occurred because Penny Lane didn't meet William's expectations for a groupie. This was neither positive or negative, so William next had a look at how he felt about Penny Lane herself. Did he, does he like her? Does he dislike her? Penny Lane acted in a way that was unexpected. William reviewed this in a positive light, so Penny Lane was rewarded with a high reward valiant which basically means that her unexpected behavior was interpreted positively, making William like her even more. Be careful when applying this theory in real life. Violating somebody's expectancies is not always viewed in a positive manner and can reflect on you in a bad light. 